Hey Rutgers University New York staff, it's Bill here. I want to do, I want to take this time to say thank you so much for everything you've done over this past year. I am humbled and I am excited by all the challenges that you have met and the things that you have been innovative on and trying to meet the needs of our students and working to keep the Rutgers University New York community together. I know this year has been challenging and I know that none of us foresaw a pandemic coming, but your work and your stepping up and being able to support our students and our faculty have been incredible. I wanna take this time to do a special shout out to all the members and the staff in the Division of Enrollment Services and Experience. Over this past year, you have spent endless hours of being innovative and in meeting our students' need from virtual counter to implementing Salesforce, being able to manage a number of expectations of students and helping students as they were challenged by the pandemic and as they were challenged with what it means to be in college at this time. I also wanna take this time to do a special shout out to our Office of Admissions. They have been on the front line being creative with a number of virtual events, um, doing parades through the city of Newark to celebrate our newly admitted students um, and being able to switch, remote, switch remotely and host virtual admitted student day events and um, open houses. I also want to especially thank the Center for Pre-College Program staff. Um, they switched on a dime last summer and this summer to support our students virtually through our pre-college programs. They have also taken the time to write two new grants for the Talent Search Program. They have been remarkable and I am in awe by everything that you do. Um, I also want to thank all of our colleagues and partners around campus, from our academic advising staff to student affairs to student retention team and the institutional research team. Without you, we couldn't have been successful this year, and you all have been incredible in supporting the work that we do to support our students. I cannot say enough about the incredible staff that's here at Rutgers University Newark, and I am proud to be a member of that staff, and I am proud to support all the staff around that. And a huge shout out to Staff Council and supporting all the staff around the campus. So thank you again, and have a great appreciation. I wish to say a special thank you to my fearless leader, Executive Vice Chancellor and Associate Professor of Sociology, Dr. Sharianne Butterfield. Thank you. To our HR partners, there were so many in the last year. Special note of gratitude to staff council, to the Chancellor's Office, UHR, and to the HR liaisons for their unwavering partnership. And to the small yet mighty Human Resources Department of Newark, thank you. Gracias, Irma. Merci en pile, Lenise. Mara Ping Salamat, Michelle. Thank you. Hi, this is Consuela Askew. I'm the Associate University Librarian for Newark, Director of the John Cotton Dana Library. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the Dana Library staff for all that you do. This past year, we've worked through unprecedented situations professionally and I'm sure personally due to the COVID pandemic. Almost a year ago, we abruptly shifted from in-person to remote services, and in the months thereafter, we began our contactless services. Despite it all, you have remained stalwart and resilient in your effort to fulfill our purpose, that is providing high quality library services to our students, faculty, and staff. I'm proud of what we've accomplished together this past year. Each of you have had an important and essential role in our library operations. Together, you are the engine that ensures our library services continues to run as efficiently and as timely as possible. I know that Dana Library's success, our success, is a team effort. Thank you for your ongoing commitment to our user community and for all that you do. Hi everyone, we've certainly had a challenging and unusual year at Rutgers University of New York. Um, but even with all that's been going on, we've kept our mission of the university and our um, support for students and guidance for students in place and have done that to the best of our ability to ensure that our students are still getting a great education. 
Um, I want to say that that is really in large part due to the perseverance and the dedication of our staff. And so thank you so much for your incredible work and your ability to keep things going on a daily basis, no matter what. Um, thank you um, to those who uh, are working from home under extraordinary circumstances. And thank you to those that never left campus at all, have been here every single day um, since the start of the pandemic. Um, your work is incredible and we appreciate it. Thank you. William Arthur Ward once said, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Under normal circumstances, your work would be challenging. But in these times, we know that the challenges have multiplied. We know that with health concerns and Zoom fatigue and all the fears and concerns that come with this moment, that it is really difficult for, for everyone who is a part of the staff at Rutgers and at SASN and, uh, to do the work that you do. So in this moment, when we usually don't take the time out to say how much we appreciate you and the work that you do, we're going to take a moment just to say thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for the ways that you continue to create and innovate. And thank you for simply being the people who make Rutgers University, who make Rutgers SASN the amazing place that it is and that continues to be. Thank you. Approximately one year ago, we scattered, but my Run It staff rose to the challenge. They demonstrated innovative ways that they never imagined. Each member became key contributors to a mission that was not even defined, but all settled in and continued to provide support to their colleagues, both students, staff, and faculty. Although the phones at the help desk were now ringing remotely, our consultants fielded all calls demonstrating professionalism and excellent customer service. Technology became a necessity and they created ways to provide the technology to our students and staff that ensured the safety and health of all involved. Supplies became limited, but they continued to work with our vendors to secure the needed technology. When logistics became nearly impossible, they developed ways to ensure the delivery for all of our orders. To each of my run it staff, you made a difference. And for that, I truly appreciate all your efforts during these different times. Thank you, and I commend each of you for your contribution to our team, Run It. Um, hello, everyone. I want to uh, uh, thank everyone for uh, making it possible to to spend a bit of time talking with folks about um, how wonderful people have been in terms of uh, helping me in my transition to being part of the Rutgers community. I want to, uh, to, to thank everyone for the very warm welcome that they've given me. Um, it's uh, so heartfelt um, and, and has really made me uh, feel that uh, I am part of, 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 of the Rutgers community. People have been incredibly generous with their time in terms of trying to, to help me understand the various ways that the Rutgers system works and all of its uh, intric intrigue and, and um, idiosyncratic uh, rules and regulations and policies and procedures. People have been very patient with me. I'm very grateful that they're uh, helped me by giving me detailed explanations of how things operate and then being tolerating and patient with me when I come back the next day or the next week and ask them, could you explain that again for me? Um, that's been incredibly helpful in terms of the transition to being uh, the Dean here at the School of Criminal Justice. I've been deeply um, impressed by the work ethic of the staff in the School of Criminal Justice as well as the, the staff in other units. People have risen to the challenge just that have, uh, they've had to face from COVID, but I think that the work ethic that they've brought 
to that challenge is something that isn't specific to COVID, that it's something that the uh, various staff at Rutgers um, hold very dear in terms of making sure that they're uh, providing the the best services possible uh, to the various constituents, whether it be the students, others, uh, fac the faculty members, other administrative staff and other staff within their unit. Um, people have uh, really take tremendous pride in the jobs that they do within within the university and that's that's been wonderful to to see um i've been very impressed by the empathy of the staff for the various constituents that they serve for you know, really connecting to students and the problems that they face and the challenges that they've uh, had to experience uh, have experienced this year and also with um, the faculty and the instructors and the PTLs and other administrators, but also their colleagues in terms of supporting each other through what has been very difficult times. And um, it's been wonderful to see in terms of people extending themselves to give help and support for uh, their fellow staff. Um, it's been a, a difficult year for everyone. It's been an especially challenging transition um, as the, the new Dean of the School of Criminal Justice, but it's been made so much easier by all of the, the work that the staff have done to make that possible. So thank you again for everything that you've done to help uh, me in the transition as the, the new Dean, and I'm looking forward to working with you as the uh, years continue. Take care. I wanted to say a special shout out and thank you to all of our frontline staff here at Rutgers University Newark who have been here since March working very hard, housing and residence life, dining team, office of reservation and special events, the facilities team, the project management team here at Rutgers University Newark who have been here behind the scenes making sure that our students and staff are supported, making sure that spaces are clean, that students are fed, that everything is up and running smoothly for those of us who are still here on campus. We thank you and appreciate you so much for all of the hard work. We know it has not been easy. Um, and we really, really wanted to take this moment to appreciate you and thank you for all that you have done here. We look forward to everybody coming back to campus and seeing the good work that's been gone. C48 New Street, when we open up in the fall to see the new library space on the third floor, it's all been um, able to come to fruition thanks to the hard work of the project management team and thank you to everyone who has just really given their heart and soul and adopted what other duties as assigned means at Parker's University do it. So we thank you, thank you very much and we'll see you soon. Hello. I'm Melissa Hartland. And I am Alyssa King. And we are the co-chairs of RUN Staff Council. We are so proud of the RUN staff and how we persevered over the past year. No one would have guessed we'd be able to shift our work lives so quickly. Some of us remained on campus as it emptied out, and some of us turned our dining room tables into offices and some of us provided newly distant and vital tech support. Regardless of what role you play, we want to send our deepest thanks. We see you, we support you, and we appreciate you. As we move forward, we invite you to run to reconnect. Apart yet together. Thank, Thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you for all that you do. This past year has been full of unimaginable challenges and sorrows. But even with all of that, you all pivoted on a dime, dug down deep, got as creative as possible, and performed incredibly. Workers cannot express my gratitude for your effort and dedication toward and for the Rutgers Newark community. You all raised the bar with your pursuit of excellence, even as you are taking care of your own families, some of you becoming instant teachers while still working in service of your Rutgers family. 
I'm so proud and so honored to be part of this family with you. Our continued success depends on people like you, whose commitment, skills, and positive energy, even in turbulent times, makes great things happen. You each are rock stars, and your star quality makes each day Rutgers at Rutgers very bright. Thank you for continuing to be your amazing selves. Know that you are valued and appreciated, and we are indebted to your greatness. Hi, happy Staff Appreciation Month. I'm so thrilled to be able to give a couple shout outs to people uh, and the entire RU community who've just done such an amazing job in this last year, uh, pivoting, being creative, resilient, gracious, kind, patient um, through, through this entire um, process and, and an incredible year. I'm especially grateful to my team, Mary Tomasco, Robbie Campbell, Jamila Savage, Angie Bonilla, um, and all, uh, Anne-Marie Rizzi, excuse me, and all of the um, members of the Chancellor's executive and administrative team who just make um, my job much more enjoyable, much more fulfilling, rewarding, and I really count as partners in our important um, equity work and transformative work that we're doing here at RUN, and it couldn't be done without you. Thank you, RUN staff. You are amazing. You should be celebrated, honored, and I'm so thrilled to work beside you. On behalf of the Rutgers University Police Department, we're so excited to participate in this year's virtual staff thank yous. First, let me say that we're extremely proud of our police officers, security officers, and community service officers who've remained committed to serving our campus community during this pandemic. We would also like to thank facilities, transportation services, the Office of Emergency Management, and Housing and Residence Life. We would also like to thank some of our community partnerships, including Office of Student Life and Leadership, Violence Prevention and Victim Assistance, Health Promotions Division, and the Office of Community Partnerships. We also want to say that we may be virtually apart at this very moment, but we're always together in Rutgers University Newark spirit.